You wake up early one Sunday morning and turn on the TV to watch the news. And the first thing you see is the moon has disappeared. Actually, you'd never see such a headline because if the moon didn't exist, the world would start spinning so fast that, how can I put it, the span of a day would decrease to be only eight hours long instead of 24. In this situation, we wouldn't even be able to receive the TV signal to watch the news. And this is not the only problem. If the moon had disappeared, we would face so many disasters that we can only imagine what some of them might be. But no need to fear, because we wouldn't even be alive long enough to witness such a thing. Joking aside, the world would be confronted with so many disasters that it makes us think. When Allah created the universe, he calculated everything to the finest detail. Everything is in its place, all in order. So let's go back to our question. What kind of disasters would occur if the moon disappeared? A 24-hour day and night is the exact ideal length of time for life to exist for living creatures. If the world spun so fast that it completed one rotation in eight hours, this would be a disaster for living things but it would not be the reason for their death, then what would this reason be? The cyclones that would emerge due to this increased speed. These cyclones would have dreadful speeds, such as 160 kilometers per hour. Only half this speed would be enough to rip the branches off trees. And if this speed reached 120 kilometers per hour, it could pull the trees out by their roots. On top of this, roofs would fly off, buildings would be damaged, and much more. It would even be impossible to walk on the road. And if the speed reached 160 kilometers per hour, then no living thing would survive. So the speed of the Earth's rotation and the moon's effect are only a few of the precautions Allah has taken for us. The world's atmosphere is puffy and disperse, just like cotton candy. The reason for this is the moon's gravitational pull on Earth. If the moon did not exist or possess this force, then sunlight would not be able to penetrate our atmosphere. Therefore, we would not be able to make use of the sun for our needs, and all living species would die in a short period of time. Since the moon, sun, and living things cannot get together and plan to establish such a system, then we understand that these needs must be met by a being that is aware of even their smallest needs. The mass of the moon is 81 times less than the Earth, and it is at a distance of 384,400 kilometers and a fraction more. Actually, the properties of the moon are very delicate, because if they were to be altered even the slightest bit, we would be exposed to many different disasters. One of these would be the change in seasons. Rather, there wouldn't be any seasons. Here's what I mean. When the world was created, its axis was tilted at an angle with other celestial bodies, and the moon keeps to this angle at certain points. If the moon did not have this property, then Earth would have no seasons and would be an unlivable planet just like Mercury, or it would have very dramatic seasons, like on Uranus. For example, it would be summer one day and winter the next. In both cases, not one of the thousands of living species could survive. But these things do not happen, and the moon is in its place. Praise be to Allah. I said praise be to Allah because all these things require giving thanks. So who should we thank? Well, probably not the moon, because the moon does not know us, nor our needs. It is not even aware that it's performing these duties. Therefore, it is not hard to see that the moon is an officer. And this is not only so for the moon. Actually, anything from the organs in our body to plants, the atmosphere and the sun, none of these are aware of us, meaning they are all officers of a being that calculates everything in great detail. They are all mirrors that reflect his mercy and might. I hope we can all live our lives with this awareness. See you in the next video.